Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amdun Saktivel. In this video, we will see how we can create page methods for the page objects, right? We have some kind of page objects like this. And my intention is to create page methods, right? Normally we use a set text box username or enter username, you know, enter value to username, enter value to password, some method like this. For example, uh, I have a test that I, you know, I have uh, methods like uh, enter username, click welcome, click log out and then get the title and then verify it, all right? That's a pretty simple uh, test. And if you notice the, the method signatures here, right? They are all, uh, to do the method chaining, I'm returning the same class uh, constructor, right? So same class instance. So that, uh, you know, I can do the method chaining of calling enter username, enter password successively, right? If your intention is to create something of this sort, then there is an easy way in IntelliJ to do that. So we're gonna see about that less. So we have, you know, things like this, instead of going and creating everything manually. Uh, so instead of going and creating all these things manually, let's say, uh, ignore about the name guys. So it's just a example. Okay. Uh, set username, something like this. Yeah. And then so instead of going and creating something like this, and then you write our logic here. Whatever the operation we want to do, okay, you can write it here. So instead of creating a method like this manually, it takes some time for the typing. So to the do that easily, press Alt and insert, and then there is an option for setter. Okay, in the setter there is an option, a template where the default will be the your IntelliJ default, but choose the builder. Now let me check the username, and if you go here and click on this, it creates almost similar to what we want, right? But this is an added thing, the parameter, I don't require the parameter, we are not passing any byte types and we don't even need this line. So if I can get something of this sort, that is more than enough for me, right? Okay, let's try to do that, how we can do this, okay? Again, press an Alt and Enter, uh, maybe I'll do Control Z so that we can have this as a reference um, and then uh, Alt and Insert, go to the setter and here, just click on this three icon Okay, it'll, it'll ask you to whether you want to create a new template. Okay, and then click on yes. Here it's asking a new template name. So let's say page method generator or whatever you feel more reasonable, click on okay. So now this is the code that they have used. This is an Apache Velocity code, guys. You notice this is an Apache Velocity code. We don't have to be an expert in this. Let's do some tweaking and then we'll try to understand this, okay? If you notice the return this, we want this, but we don't want their uh, field name dot param name, this particular thing we don't want, okay? So let's remove that, we don't need that. And we also don't need, they are passing some byte type to the method, we don't need that as well. Let's remove it, okay? We don't need that as well. Now let's see uh, what is happening here, okay? Click on okay. And then now we using this, we'll generate this. Okay, there is some error it seems, okay? Press Alt and insert again, and then click on setter. And um, using the password, let's click on this. Okay, if you notice, it is having some issues with the this dot. Okay, there is some problem, yet uh, we'll go and fix it, okay? So let's remove this again, and press on Alt and insert, setter. And I want to change the template, how this works. Okay, this, I don't want to have this particular thing. So let's remove this whole stuff. Okay, we don't need this at all. Let's remove it. Okay. Okay, let's click on okay. And let's try to generate it now. So if you notice, we have the thing that we want to generate, right? This is pretty cool. Now, let me remove all the things and generate all of them at once, Alt and insert. Okay, okay. choose the template and select all of them, click on okay, you get your things, and then you can go ahead and start writing your code. So I can pass a username here, and what is the weight strategy that they want, and the name of the username. Basically, I can start to type, and you know I can increase the uh, speed in which I code, because this will be really handy if you have 50 elements, and then you have to create a page methods for all of them, right? Again, you can go and do a little bit of tweaking here, and then to remove it so that it's more meaningful. Yeah. Or you can go ahead and change the template if you have the uh, you know, intention to optimize this, maybe you can go ahead and change the template. 
I hope this is helpful for you. I, if, uh, you know, if if that's the case, please do uh, share it with your friends and like the channel. Yes, I'll see you in another great video. Until then, tata, bye bye.